there is a difference between good and scary movies and movies that systematically demean half the human race. There is a difference between movies which are violent but entertaining and movies that are gruesome and despicable. There is a difference between a horror movie and a freak show. And a good example of that is the fact that both of us gave favorable reviews to a very scary 1978 horror film named Halloween. Now, there must be people asking, how could we praise a movie like that and now say these other movies are so terrible? Well, here's a scene from Halloween. It's got the same basic situation as all the women in danger movies have. There's a woman alone in a big house. She's being chased by a killer. But let's look at it first and then talk about some of the differences. I'm going to take a little walk. Look at the boogeyman. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you sure? How? Killed him. He yeah, can't kill the boogeyman. Okay, that's Halloween, a horror movie we both think is pretty good. Very good. Yeah. One of the things a short scene can't show you is that Halloween is directed and acted with a great deal more artistry and craftsmanship than the sleaze bucket movies we've been talking about. But there's another much more important difference. As you watch Halloween, your basic sympathies are always enlisted on the side of the woman, not with the killer. Mm -hmm. The movie develops its women characters as independent, intelligent, spunky and interesting people. Halloween does not hate women. Yeah, you know, when I saw that scene, I must admit, I wasn't really worrying about the woman as much as I was placing myself in that closet and thinking about that killer, how I would handle it. Uh -huh. And I was also appreciating the fact that I think Halloween not only doesn't hate women, mm -hmm. but it loves film and filmmaking. That music is just fabulous. The way he starts one theme, then lays another thing on top of it, keeping the other theme, really good. Uh, also, the light coming through the slats in that closet. Mm -hmm. This is a film that's sort of up. That scene is up and you're jumpy rather than getting depressed and feeling sorry mm -hmm. and feeling sorry that you're even watching it. An upbeat thing. You know, I think what you're touching on here is that artistry can redeem any subject matter. Sure. That's why I've always been opposed to censorship. I mm -hmm. don't believe any subject matter should be off base. Right. The question is, what does the artist do with it? How does he look at it? How does he put it through his art in order to make a statement about it, in order to make it into either a commercial film or a serious film? I believe that in the case of a movie like Halloween, we can engage in that joy of filmmaking that you talk about. That's not the case with the other films that really address themselves to the lowest possible common denominator. So we're not knocking scary pictures, no. per se, just a certain kind.